Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. Today, we'll look at assembling Vince Briel's MP3 card for the Apple IIe computer and show you how you can play music from your Apple IIe and play games at the same time. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the Apple II MP3 kit uh, from Real Computers. So let's see what we have in here. Um, first thing is the actual card to go into the uh, Apple II. And looks like there's room for one big chip and a couple other uh, smaller components. Uh, so let's see, what do we have here? Here is a 6551 and with oh, this nice socket. Um, we've got in here. Wow, this is uh, this must be the actual like MP3. Uh, component. Let's see, what does this say? V Music 2 FTDI. Alright, so this looks like it has a USB um, to plug in a USB stick and it has a audio jack out um, and then some pins to presumably uh, mount onto the board somehow. Um, all right, we got a zip tie. Uh, looks like a little header to mount the chip, a crystal uh, to provide the timing, and looks like a couple capacitors. And then finally, here is some um, uh, instructions, I guess maybe assembly and user manual. All right, so let's go ahead and get started uh, assembling this. Okay, the first thing we have to attach is the header uh, for the little MP3 card. Um, and this actually goes on the back of the card. Um, so you can see I'm going to put it on here with the connector facing uh, away from the other headers. And that's so this can mount upside down like this. Uh, so we'll just put that on there. I'm just going to put a piece of tape on there real quick to make it so it actually stays when I flip it over and solder it. Uh, just like that. Alright, and we'll go ahead and we'll solder that. We've got the header on the back side facing the correct direction. Uh, so the next thing to put on is the socket for the 28-pin uh, chip. So that goes in here, and we have to make sure to line up the notch at the top with the uh, notch indicated on the board. So we'll put that in. Okay, so the next thing is to install are the capacitors and the crystal. Um, there's two different capacitors. One is a 20 picofarad and the other is a 0.1 microfarad. Uh, the 20 picofarad is supposed to be labeled by 20J. This actually has 22J on it, but I'm going to assume that that just is a, maybe a 22 picofarad instead and just use that. Um, here is the 0.1 microfarad. Here's the crystal. And so we'll go ahead and install those. And these uh, don't have any polarity, so it doesn't matter which way you uh, install them. Alright, so now we've got all assembled. Uh, we can go ahead and Put in the 6551. Make sure all the pins are in properly. 
it's facing the correct direction with the notch. Um, and then we can slide the MP3 board in. That goes like so. And we can go ahead and plug it in and test it. So we're going to load up a uh, USB stick with some MP3 songs and uh, see what happens. Okay, now we're transferring the MP3 disk image um, from the Mac over to uh, floppy disk using ADT Pro. I've got the MP3 card with a USB stick with some MP3s. Um, I've got an uh, audio cable plugged into a little speaker. I'll go ahead and plug this in. I'm not sure what slot to plug it in. I guess we'll try four. Let's see, back of Apple computer. Okay, that sounds good. So that's in. Make sure that'll stay. Just for testing. And Turn it on. Okay, the lights are blinking, which is good. And let's see. MP3 disc. Alright, don't quite know what to do. Uh, A1 MP3 and MP3. Let's run MP3. Slot 4. Okay, it says it's getting songs. There they are. And here's a little music player. Cool. Uh, play all and exit. Oh, well, actually, I hear it. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. <laughs> Okay, the last thing I want to show you is the play all feature of the MP3 card. Uh, so from the player, if I just hit A, it goes ahead and it plays all of the songs on the uh, USB stick. And the cool thing is, is it'll just keep playing no matter what I do. So I can actually just do a basic program. That's cool. Or I can put in a different disc. So let's say we want to listen to some music and work on the pinball construction set. So I can just reboot this. And as long as the power is on, the uh, MP3 card will just keep playing. So you can imagine just uh, starting up your music and doing some pinball construction set or firing up the Open Apple podcast and uh, listening to that while you're uh, doing some coding. So uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this. Go out and get an MP3 card and plug it into your Apple II and throw some tunes on it and uh, you're all set. So thanks for watching. <laughs>